Hello and welcome back to Planescape Torment with me, Barden, Mort, and the Nameless One. And we're here in Angar's house. We just what's the hold up? Um, yep. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> the hold up is you interrupting me when um, I'm doing the intro. <laughs> but um, we we just finished um, sorting out Angar's contract, so we're going to get ourselves back outside because the Nameless One seems to be a bit restless. So out we go. Oh, it's night time now. Okay. Right. Oh, this looks a bit dangerous. Is this guy going to fight us? Maybe. Let's see. No. Okay. We're okay. Good. Looks like they'd fight us though. Don't know why. Uh, I don't know why he's not fighting us, should I say. Okay, so it's night time. We're going to move ourselves on. What's this? Open dialogue window. Okay, don't need that. Just saw it kind of glowing there. Thought it might be something of interest. Let's go down this way. So, hard dweller. Yeah, we don't want to go in there yet, I don't think. Just uncover this part of the map. Okay, so we can't go anymore to the um, west. So, let's go north. So we've got Hive Thug, you elderly Hive Dweller. Okay. I've got something over here. Okay, what's this? Oh, that's a portal. Okay, let's not go to the portal. Ingress. Let's go talk to you. Yep, come back. Stop running away. Where did she go? Anybody seen an English around here? No? Okay. Well, we'll find her at some other stage, I guess. I don't want to go near these dust dusties yet. So let's go to back to where she was. Oh, apparently we can just walk through there. Okay. So who are these guys? High tug, high thug. Yeah, all the thugs seem to be out at night. What's in here? Well, those guys um, didn't seem to not um, pleased about us coming in here. Right. Okay, so who is this? She is called Shalandra. Okay, Shalandra, let's talk to you. Blast! I almost had it that time. Don't you know it's dangerous to interrupt spell casters while they're evoking a spell? Luckily for you, I was only practicing. Well, what is it you want? My apologies for disturbing you. Farewell. That's all we can... Okay. So, her, I guess that, um, her quests or whatever are gated for now. So, let's get ourselves back outside. Ah, there's the door. Okay. There we go. I'm yeah. Gone. Yeah, these guys are coming for us. Okay, well... Um, should we stop and have a bit of a fight? Yeah, let's let's uh, fight these guys. Okay, one of them has run away from Mort. Okay, nice. Damn it! We'll miss. Let's just keep hitting this guy. Okay, he's run away. Now just one more guy. And he's running away as well. Okay. Well, where are they running to? They're running back over here. So we now attack them. Oh, where are they going? Well, we can't go there. He's gone into the portal area. Okay. So I guess they don't want to play anymore. So let's leave them alone. Okay, let's come in here. 
and see who we have in here. So we got um, Quinton, Sev Tai, and Death of Names. Okay, let's start with uh, Quinton. The man before you looks to be middle of height and years. He is stout with a thick bullish neck and his shoulders are hunched as if a great weight was pressing upon him. He wears an impatient look as he stares at the black monolith in front of him. Greetings. The man throws you a glance. There's room cutter. No need to ask my leave to stand here. Actually, I wanted to know what this monolith was. It's a tombstone for planes, he scoffs. Graveyards of names are scratched. Graveyards of names are scratched on that rock. Can only hope my name's the one that'll split the stone in twain. He points at the base of the monolith. Quentin, right there, hammered in just hard enough to send the damn thing crashing down. Tombstone for planes? Aye. Quentin smiles ruefully. The Dusty scratched the names of the dead on this monument here. He gestures around him. And on the walls of this place. Not enough space by my reckoning. But no matter, they do their best. Can barely read half the names. What are you doing here? Reading the new arrivals. Try and find a new one each day. Try and remember if I knew him. Nothing more. The Dustman records the name of all that have died on this monument. Aye, they scratch him on this rock and scratch him on the walls in this place too. Quinton scoffs. I don't know why they take the trouble to take accounting of the dead. The Dusties have more care for the living. The living? Aye, you know about the Dustmen mourners that come to this place. They aren't mourning the dead, see. They're mourning the living. You can barely get a word in in them edgewise without him asking to mourn some poor living Berkies for you. Why do they mourn the living? You got me there, Cutter, he shrugs. Might want to put the question to them. Seems to me the dead are thrice worth the pity of any poor sod living in this pit. He nods at the monument. Every name on there is blessed in my book, it is. Ever know anybody who came back after their name was put on there? You mean come back from death? Quinton shakes his head. Not a one cutter. Everything that lives dies. And that's the way of things. He shrugs. Still considering the planes go on forever and all. I suppose anything's possible. I suppose so. I had some more questions. Actually I don't. Okay. I see. Thanks. Okay. So that's Quinton. Next. Who we got over here. So we have... Sev Tai. This woman's face looks broken and she's covered in scars. They look like bite marks and fingernail cuts. She's cradling the shreds of several rags in her hands and is staring emptily at the wall of the monument, at the names there. Greetings. Sss, get back. The woman's teeth peel back, displaying a row of black canines. What do you want of Sev Tai? What's the matter? What wrong? Those cows, cow, chaos men wrecked my cart, attacked me, and killed three of my sisters who tried to stop them. Not sisters anymore. Now there are nothing but names on this memorial wall. Chaos men? Chaos men, a faction they say. What they are is an adult bunch that runs wild through the hive and does whatever they please. We never did no harm to them. Then they lope in this in like dogs and tear apart anything within their reach. Who are these chaos men who attacked you? They're a hiver gang, a bunch of adult sods that call themselves the the starved dogs barking or some such barmy nonsense. Their actions were unjust. If you wish, I can see that the matter is rectified. If three deaths they cause, then three deaths 
shall these starved dogs suffer. A copper earring in your purse if you pen three of those murdering sods in the dead book jig. I'll see to it and I'll see to it that they're put in the dead book. Can you tell me where they might be found? Go out the south gate, spymered from here, then walk around the block until you come to a place where men run in circles, howling at the sig sky. There's the star of dogs they are. I'll go look for them then. Updated my journal. Okay. And then we've got um, Death of Names. So we'll do what she wants and then we'll talk to him later because he might send us off in another area. So she said to go south and out the gate. Okay, so let's continue south. So it must be down this way. So we'll do what she wants, take care of those guys and then um, come back up this way. So can we find a gate? So I don't see any gate there. Okay, let's check the map. To Alley of Dangerous Angels. That's probably where it is then, I guess. Yeah, that's North. The Mausoleum. Yeah, okay. So I guess there isn't an actual gate for us to see. We just have to go. Yeah, we just have to go that way. Okay. Okay. And here we are. Dark Ali Shiv. Greetings, Strangler. Looks like you're in Dark Ali Shiv territory now. Looks like you've got a purse that could use some lightning. You better pray it's got enough. I'd like to see you try taking it with holes in your skin. Let's try that. Okay, so. We've got a bunch of these guys to fight. Oh, we're not doing too well, are we? Uh, maybe let's run away. <laughs> I'm gone. Okay. Oh, these guys want to fight us now as well. I think we can take you on. Oh, maybe not. Uh, running away. Running away. He has to stop every time, that's the problem. Mark, you go deal with him. Nice. Okay. Yeah, Mort, come back. Okay, so what do we do to heal him? Select special abilities, raise the head. Okay, um, no, we don't want to do that. F5 is guard, okay, that's interesting. Right, so, um, imagery bandage. Ah, yes, let's use a bandage. Use, use, we couldn't use all of our bandages, look. Yeah, that's all of our bandages gone. Oh, but he got some freaky thing there. Okay. All right, let's go back in there. And I guess we have to pay those guys. Done. Or maybe they're just going to be hostile all the time now. Okay. Okay, one of them dead. Let's move. Let's 
Chrome at you. What? Mort, you attack this guy. I'm hurt. Oh, I think we're gonna die. Oh, we got out. Okay. Done. Yeah, so how do we deal with those guys then? What's up, Chief? Let's get Mort to kill him. Oh, Mort. Sort him out. There we go. Yeah, Mort seems okay. to handle the fighting a lot better than the name of some. Okay, well. Let's go in here again. What's now. up? Mort, you go attack him. You run away. You kite them and let Mort attack that guy. Okay. okay. Mort is doing well. Nameless one is going to kite them around. Okay, he's going to go yeah. over there. Good he can attack that guy. I'm gone. Oh, more. Oh my god. <laughs> I think he's dead. Yeah. Must this fool die? <laughs> yeah, definitely a fool. All right. We're all the way back here. No way. We've got all of our stuff. Ah, that's fine. Okay. Right. So, um, where are we supposed to go? Oh yeah, around and out okay so i don't think um fighting those guys is really something we can do at the moment so we need to find something else to do maybe we'll go and talk to that guy or maybe we just need to go there during the day that could be a thing as well because there seems to be more thugs around at night time We need to come all the way over here and then use the steps. Oh no, it's, the, it's those. It's these steps here. Yeah, we have to go down, don't we? Yeah. Okay, make your way over, please, guys. And just because this is the first time we died, I'm gonna uh, keep this run in um keep that run in in the video but in future um i think i'm gonna cut that out because now you know what we have to do after we've died now where exactly was let's use the portal and see where we go Okay, through we go. Ah, we're in this place, okay. So, let's rest here. And get ourselves out. Is it daytime now? Yes, it's daytime, okay. So let's go down there now that it's daytime then. Let's see if that makes a difference. Because um, if we only need to kill three of them, I think we can do that. If we have to kill everyone in that area, I don't think it's going to happen. I think there's a reason why the nameless one has died over and over and over again. Here are some tugs here though. As soon as you want to fight us. Damn it. Die. Damn it. There's one of them. He's dead. And he's right. running. 
Okay, so we leave him be and we'll hop in here. There's still a whole bunch of them. Yeah, let's run out. Let's forget this area for now. And get ourselves out. I'm gone. Okay, then let's grab this. Okay, two coppers, nice. So let's go up here then and talk to the dustman instead. What was his name? Something... Death of Names or something? Who are you? You're Bane the Sender, okay. I think we may have talked to you before. Possibly. Okay. Let's get in here. Oh, are you coming to attack us? Die. Die, aren't you? Okay, let's talk to you. Wait for the music. Is the music gonna calm down? Yeah, I think so. You see this man with a crooked smile frozen on his face. Despite the smile, his eyes are as dull as stones. His right arm is shorter than his left, and he keeps it tucked in to his side as if cradling a small child. Greetings. Dilsman's eyes slide over you. Name? The way he speaks the word, it sounds like the tolling of a bell. I... I don't know. No name. No name. Can't help you. Dilsman speaks in a curious sing-song voice. Need to give a name if you want to see where it's day... If, where it's died. What? Given a name when you're born, given a name when you need it no more. Dead of names, dead of names. His eyes swim across the monolith, then the walls of the area. Buried many names here, dead of names has. Tell me a name, I'll show you its grave. Deonara. His eyes roll to the back of his head, then pop back. With a wild gleam, his eyes run across the walls of the monument, scanning the names at inhuman speed. He then points at a section of the wall, buried. Examine the spot. He pointed at chiseled into the black stone in tiny cramped writing is the name you requested. It is almost lost beneath the sea of names around it. I had another name. Ah. Uh, Val. He shakes his head. Not dead yet, that name is. Not buried here. Not time, not time. Can you bury a name for me? He nods, then unfolds a small hand from where it is cradled on his side. It looks atrophied. It is the size of a child's hand. Cost Jink to bury a name. Three copters, three. Okay, um... Quentin. So that's this guy here. But he wanted his name right on the bottom, so it split that thing. Let's just do Quentin. He shakes his head. Not dead yet, that name is. Not buried here. Not time. Not time. Okay. Very well. Sorry to disturb you. Okay, that's all we can do with him then. Uh, we can't really help her out, and we're kind of out of time as well for this. So we're going to have to figure out next time where we go from here and what we do. Um, but from myself, Mort, and the Nameless One, and um, Death of Names here, it's goodbye, and we hope to see you all next time.